Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue on with our I Can't Take This Anymore number two. We get a lot of people that send us things, you know, most of the time it's here, Dennis, here's a good laugh for you, which shows me two things. One, they have a sense of humor and two, they understand how ridiculous this stuff is. So I got this sent to me the other day. This was a response and it shows a lot of different things. So let's look at it and walk through it together. Unlike many other speakers, the ohms benefit from a reflective, dispersive front wall behind and between the speakers. This big glass window makes a perfect front wall compared to a more solid material like drywall or plaster. Glass also has the benefit of being, being nearly transparent in the low frequencies, which helps mitigate buildup of standing waves. So let's break this apart because this is a good example of how the industry takes a little bit of data, applies it to something that makes no sense. In politics, there's a thing called word salad where political people just say words and try to string an intelligent paragraph together, but with the pressure of the media and all of that things, they put together uh, things and they make no sense. They're just jumbled up. I think the term word salad is, is how, how they apply that. But let's break this down and look at it. Speakers benefit from a reflective, dispersive front wall. Sure, lots of speakers benefit from that. So that's a true statement. I don't know these particular speakers, but... Some do benefit from them. It's part of their design. Some even have tweeters that fire into the wall for spatiality. Okay, there's, there's something to be said in that. If designed properly, it's not easy managing direct and reflected energy. We do it every day in rooms. It's not easy. The big glass window makes a perfect front wall. Really? How? compared to a more solid material with more density. Density is the key barrier technology for low frequency noise transmission mitigation. So how is an eighth inch or quarter inch even piece of glass going to stop any kind of low frequency? Well, it does because it helps mitigate the buildup of standing waves. This is nonsense. Complete nonsense. It doesn't make a perfect front wall when you're dealing with pressure compared to drywall or plaster. Either one are just as bad as the other. So none of the three methodologies suggested have any value when it comes to full frequency range noise transmission. So here's an example of many, many things rolled into one and you you look at it and it's it's a word salad. It means nothing. But if you're not informed, I saw an expression the other day, low informed voter. Don't be a low informed acoustic person. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.